This is the sixth video in a series on database fundamentals and in this video we're going to look at primary and foreign keys. For this video it's assumed that you're already familiar with the relational data model terminology and the database terms that correspond to those data model terms. Those were presented in previous videos. We're looking at relationships and primary and foreign keys. How do we put a relationship between person, customer, and repair order tables in the database? We put the primary key from one table into the related table, and that becomes a foreign key field. So which primary, which primary key goes into the other table based on this data model? A foreign key is a field in one table that corresponds to the primary key field in the related table. We know which primary key to put in a related table in this example because of the one side and the many side. The rule is in a one to many relationship the many side gets the foreign key. So we will take the primary key from customer and put it in repair order. So the primary key from person, which is purse ID, has a corresponding column in the related customer table. Now this is a one-to-one -one relationship and technically in one-to-one -one you can put the foreign key on either side, but for practical reasons we have decided to put the foreign key on the customer side. The uh, purse ID column in customer is the, foreign key, is the foreign key column. The primary key in customer is cust ID. You remember the primary key uniquely identifies each row in the table. So that primary key in customer is going to have a corresponding foreign key column in repair order. So for repair order 22005, we see customer ID 30008. We can trace that back to the customer table and once we find that number we can go across on that row to the purse ID value which is 1008. We can then go to the persons table and take that 1008 and see that this is a repair order for a customer whose name is Joseph Kubek. Using the foreign key field to link related data is an essential element of relational databases. It reduces data redundancy. In each relational database table, we have data stored for a particular entity, and that data is stored once. We have to get it right, and we can update it, and it will be high data quality that can be referenced by other tables and other applications because we have it stored once in one location. In the example below there are two repair orders for Joe Kubik. We can find his uh, purse ID, trace it to his uh, purse ID and customer, take the customer ID and trace that to the customer ID in the repair order and we find the corresponding uh, repair orders for Joe Kubek. The foreign key field name can match exactly the related primary key field name and that's often what you see. However, it's not required that the names match. What has to match in a primary key column related to a foreign key column is that the data type is the same. So the foreign key column is the same data type and field size as its related primary key column. And there are a couple of situations where you cannot match the primary key and the foreign key field names and you'll see those uh, in later examples. So we have looked at the relationship in the data model and how it becomes a primary key column in one table and a related foreign key column in another table. 
storing data in separate tables gives us high data quality and reduces data redundancy. We know where to go to update or find the data for that particular customer.